you, you are right in saying, gee, that's code that I have to do twice. All right? So what does that mean? Put it in a function. All right? So I could go and say protected void recalc or something. And then just call recalc. In these two places. And that should work. Now, two things. Do it on the page loads. Maybe I don't need to do it when it changes. I don't. So I can actually put it only in the page load. Except, I'm going to muddy the water here a little bit. <laughs> because, and again, for this particular thing, it's not relevant. But I can test. <coughs> if it's a post back or not. And if it is not a post back, actually I want to say if not is post back. Thank you. If not is post back, call recalc. Post back is when the page calls itself a second time. So I just wanted to show that again, it's not really relevant in this case, it doesn't harm anything. But yeah, exactly. If there was something, there, there are other cases where you do something and, and something else gets affected, and if you don't put is post back, you're effectively going to undo um, the change. Um, for example, let's say I, was, I had code to default the value to 1 in there. Then I would change it, and then my page load event would would over overdo overwrite my change. So now here's a question. Here's a puzzler. And the question is is am I being a hypocrite here? Alright, that's the question for today. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Maybe, but not not regards to this. <laughs> question is is back when I was talking about coupling and all that, yeah. I said that there should be arguments to this function and return values. That this function shouldn't be referring to drop downs and, and all that. Yet I didn't do that here. Well, we're just trying to go faster. <laughs> Maybe. The answer to this is, is I could have made that an argument and passed it in. But in this case, I wasn't too concerned about it. Why not? Because this code, by definition, is only going to live on this page. This is not code that I ever have any thoughts of reusing. All right? This is essentially code that I know belongs with this page and never is going to change. Contrast that with this code. Where this code I know I'm probably going to want to use on other pages. So I want it to be uncoupled from the user interface. This code, eh, um, really probably minimal chance I would ever want to reuse that anyhow. So who cares? All right. So probably the better way still would be to pass an argument. But this is a function I wouldn't lose sleep over because I know that this is not reusable. Um, I hope that doesn't confuse things at all. If in doubt, pass arguments and don't refer to the user uh, interface uh, elements. But again, the reason you do that is largely for 
using something across several different pages and, and with different user interfaces. So if you know that that's not an issue, then eh, it's probably not quite as big a deal. All right. One thing I would like you to do, this, this lecture actually went longer than I thought. One thing I would like you to do is most, if not all of you, have turned Lab 3 in. Okay? If not, I assume you're working on Lab 3. What I'd like you to do is spend some time in Lab, because Lab 4 is to take it and create a class from it and, and do this. Before you do that, though, this would be a prime opportunity to look at your code and think about refactoring on how you can make it better. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pair up with someone and look at the code they have for Lab 3. You know, you can swap code, you know, however you do it, that's fine. Look at the code you have for Lab 3 and offer suggestions to the other person on how they could improve the code. All right? If you have questions, let me know. Um, but it would be good to consider at least refactoring it as you move from Lab 3, which is everything in the page, to Lab 4, which is creating a custom class. Um, this is sometimes called, and, and, and this is very informal, but sometimes it's called a code review. A lot of places don't do it, and I think it's good to have a peer or just another set of eyes look at your code. You know, you can get too close to a problem when you stare at it and you may only see one possible solution or there might be actually better solutions. So use this code review as an opportunity to look at someone else's coding style and for them to look at your style and exchange ideas back and forth on how maybe your code could be improved. All right, we'll see you in lab.